you need to get through the hard part in the beginning. I'm not strict about it. I have dinner. Um, and occasionally I, I break down, I have a little bit of uh, a snack in the afternoon. Um, and occasionally As I, needed, kind I, of thing. Occasionally I have lunch with friends. Occasionally I have breakfast. But my, my best days, I would say probably at least five, six days a week, are not eating maybe more than a, a nut, a few nuts or a nibble of chocolate. Uh, until dinner. And then dinner is great. It, dinner is a big meal for me. I <laughs> How many calories I'm, in your dinner? I don't, I don't know, but I go to a restaurant and I'm eating multiple dishes. I just don't eat dessert. I steal mm. little bits, but that's it. I avoid sugar like it's the plague for, for the reason we just uh, mentioned. Mm. There are sweet spots f that are different for everybody. Some people like breakfast and don't care for dinner. Mm. After, after lunch, you go all through the night. Yeah. And you've got that extended period. You want to use the night as a period of fasting because you're not thinking about food when you're sleeping anyway. But, but also, I'm wondering if, if you see this too, or feel this. For a few weeks when I, I started doing this in, more intensely and actually skipping lunch, it was tough. It's mm. tough for everybody, I think, because we, we've got ghrelin coming out and we, we, we have to eat something, we're used to eating. But after three, four weeks, I didn't, I didn't feel like eating. In fact, if I ate something, I'd get a little bit woozy or brain fog. And what I saw when I was measuring it, so I've, I've done uh, the levels health mm -hmm. thing on my arm. Um, so there's a glucose monitor, continuous glucose monitor on the phone that when you start, your body doesn't know what to do. Hungry, you're losing glucose, you feel tired, you're hungry. But what happens over time after three weeks is you steady out and your liver wakes up and learns that it needs to do a jo its job, mm -hmm. which is in part making sugar for your body glucose. But our livers are much smarter than our eyes and our mouths, much. <laughs> and, and continuous, your liver, my liver, if you measure it during the day, I showed you a graph earlier when, when we were talking, the, the line through the day is really steady in yeah. this zone. And that's why I can power through the day. I don't feel over energetic, I don't feel lethargic, I don't even feel hungry. But it, it, there's a really important point, which is it's individual. The other important point is that you just, you need to get through the hard part in the beginning. Mm. Uh, it's fun to do the, the glucose monitoring because you can look on your phone and, and you know how you feel. Mm. And I could very quickly see that if I ate normally, like a, a normal uh, American, a big breakfast, huge spike in glucose goes up uh, you know, over 150, 200 yep. mg per deciliter. And I'm feeling wired and I've got caffeine in my body. So, okay, I've got a couple of hours of uh, hyper. And then I'd have this crash. I'd feel terrible. Mm. I, I need to go to sleep. I didn't sleep well enough. I can't think. I need to get a snack to, to get back to where I was. And then I look at my phone and I can see that I'm in this crash. I've gone not just, you know, my, my levels are here. I've gone below that. And yeah. now I'm feeling hungry. I'm weak. And then what do I do? What does everybody do? I, get, I need a snack. I need a yeah. protein bar or something. And then whew, shoot straight back up. Our days, if on a normal meal, a, a, a normal American diet, is like that. Yeah. And it's highs and lows and highs and lows. It's horrible. Horrible. You got to break that cycle and just do the, yeah. and then you know, a little bit in the evening. Food is required. We're not talking about starvation or malnutrition here. Right. But Tom, the, the one thing that I think is really important to tell everybody who isn't doing this um, is that I'm really lazy when it comes to life. I really am. It's surprising <laughs> I, I've gotten where I am. Um, I know the feeling and very well. But what I, 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 I am pretty stubborn, and I like to do things to a point where at least I've satisfied myself that I can mm. do something. But I like meat. I love meat. I, vegetables, for me, were a garnish for most of my life. I love the taste of meat. I would love if meat was life prolonging. Mm. I'd be the happiest guy. Uh, but I've now learned, A, that, that, that vegetable, at least plant-focused, you can eat some meat and fish preferably. It's not going to hurt you. But a, a carnivorous, mainly carnivorous diet, there's really no evidence that l in the long run that's healthy, unfortunately. So I've switched um, and I'm very happy with it. I, I do enjoy uh, a pl mostly plant-based diet now. Exercise, I freaking hate exercise. Yeah, I'm, I'm Joe Average or worse. I do not like the feeling of being out of breath at all. Uh, I like lifting weights because at least I, I don't lose my breath, but I'm lazy. I have to force myself to go to the gym mm. every day when I do it which isn't every day, by the way. Um, so if, if I can do it, anybody should be able to do this. It's just a matter of willpower. 
and getting into the habit of doing that and letting your body adjust.